Viral Science, the home of creativity. Hey friends, welcome back and today we will be starting with ESP32 series and we'll make a simple home automation project with Blink application, manual switches and with 8 channel relay control as well as with a feedback system. So let's get started with this video. If you use off-the-shelf components like 8-channel relay module, ESP32 board, a switchboard, then you can follow this circuit diagram and make your wiring connections. To avoid all these wiring connections, make our project more compact and durable and look good, I have designed my own PCB for this project. So here is the schematic of our PCB design. Then I have converted it into a PCB file and arranged all the components on the board. Then I have downloaded the Gerber file of our PCBs to order our PCB. So to order our PCBs, I'm visiting jlcpcb.com who is the sponsor of this project and who offers very good quality of PCBs at very low prices. So we'll select quote now and add our Gerber file on this website. After adding it, we'll select the quantity and color and place our orders. I've received my PCBs in 7 to 8 days. As you can see the packing was very good and the quality of the PCB is very good. So now we'll start collecting the components for this project. And after this we'll assemble all the components on our PCB board and start the soldering process. Now download the Blink application and open it. Create a new project. Give the project a name. I am giving ESP32 Home Automation. After this, select your device that is ESP32 Development Board. Select Wi-Fi and click on Create. After creating, click on Add button and we'll add 8 buttons. After adding buttons, click on button 1, give it a name that is Relay1, you can name it of your choice, then select Virtual V1 for that button and click to switch. Similarly, you have to configure for all the buttons. This will be the Relay2 and we'll select Virtual2 pin for this and click on switch. Similarly, we will do it for all the 10 buttons. So now connect your ESP32 board with your computer. Now open my code. Over here you have to make some changes. So first enter your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. After this a blink will send you an authentication token for your application. So just copy it from your mail id and paste it over here. After doing this you will just simply have to select the board. 
select the do iot esp32 board then select the port and upload the code while uploading press the boot button so it will start uploading the code now we'll place our esp32 board on our pcb board so this is a 220 volt ac connector as we are going to power this with our 220 volt ac power supply because we are using a 5 volt dc converter that is high link 220 volt to 5 volt dc converter you can use these switches for the manual switches and if you are using it you can connect it over these terminal connectors you can even use the push button like me and you can directly connect it to the header pins over here Now we'll connect a bulb holder, cut one of its wire and we'll connect it to this relay. Relay acts as a switch for our connections. So when relay turns on, it completes the circuit and the light turns on. Now connect everything with the power supply and our system is ready. So now let's test our project. So it's working with the smartphone, now we'll try with manual switches as well. As you can see the live feedback from our manual switches in our smartphone. So friends, I hope you like this project, do hit that like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And I will see you in the next one. Do subscribe and press bell icon to get instant notification for new video.